international trade. For another, if war breaks out on the Korean Peninsula and the North Korean government collapses, refugees may try to flood over the country's border with China. It also doesn't like the possibility of a reunified Korea under a South Korean government. South Korea is an ally of the U.S. This is Max Thunder, a massive air exercise between the U.S. and South Korea. There's about 80 aircraft involved in this, more than 1,500 personnel. Now we're told it's in peace, it is annual, the lieutenant colonel in charge of it says uh, that it has been planned for months, and they don't have a specific enemy in mind when they're carrying out this exercise. But of course, with what is happening in the the Korean Peninsula and that right there means that this is very much in the spotlight. We know that North Korea has blamed it as a state for the brink of war. Uh, there is reckless on both sides. Being very strong at this point, but from this point of view, people who are in this particular exercise are looking to know how to work with each other in case of a war. We're being told that this is as close a simulation as you can get to a possible war situation. Now, of course, North Korea does not like these military options. They do this as a they are defensive. China doesn't like them either. They have even suggested to the US. South Korea, that if they actually halt these drills, then North Korea may suspend their nuclear and missile program. It's not a suggestion, and it's not a suggestion that the United States has done. Paul Hancock, CNN, a prisoner base in South Korea. Which of these words comes from a Latin term meaning gate, patio, portal, plaza, or coast? Portal! set up in shipping containers is giving people the chance to meet face to face with others from Africa, Asia, Europe, the Middle East, South America, without leaving their own city. The company that sets these up is Shared Studios. Its portals are funded by public or private organizations. It depends on who wants to host a portal. What's needed is access to land, electricity, internet access, people to run the portal, and their use is free to the public. The connections are immersive, interactive, and international. I want to talk to someone who has a really different life experience than myself. Behind its golden exterior, this shipping container in the middle of downtown Los Angeles is a portal to the world. I am Ravi, and this is Ahmed. We are not from Iraq. Tell me a little bit about what life in Erbil is like. You know, we are refugees. Equipped with immersive audio-visual technology, the portal allows for casual interaction between people in different parts of the globe without the restrictions of a computer screen. When you enter it, you feel like you're in the same room as someone with an identical shipping container somewhere else on Earth. Amar Bakshi launched the first portal in 2014 between New York and Iran. We're trying to create a global public space where people from all walks of life and all types of different institutions can come together on everything from a conversation to, to play to collaborate. The strength of the network is its diversity. There's about two dozen portals permanently located around the world, from Afghanistan to Mexico. Every location communicates at some point with every other portal. And all are welcome. Each of our portals is staffed by a local curator. They maneuver the politics and the messaging necessary to operate in all these sites. It is the job of the curators to engage their communities and invite passers by to enter the portal for a chat. They also schedule reoccurring events. <coughs> Hear so many stories of people having the ability to be anonymous and to then express cruelty to others, and this is the antithesis of that. What do people think of this portal there in Iraq? We can get a um, information about the cultures, about the lives in our country outside of Iraq. Rami and Mustafa and my new friend. Stephanie Hulam, CNN, Los Angeles. One rule of thumb for losing weight is to eat what you can. Determined by diet, twenty percent is exercise. In our continuing health series with Dr. Sanjay Gupta, we're looking at diet suggestions for living a longer life. Good, Dr. Sanjay.
People always talk about wanting to get healthy and talking about diet and exercise. That's exactly what you should be talking about. But here's the way to keep Diet is far more important than exercise when it comes to actually accomplishing those things. If you want to look at what these diets uh, that doctors like have in common, they're really three basic things you need to look for. They're going to have a lot more vegetables. They're going to be cut way back on sugars. And they're also going to be cut back on grains, particularly refined grains. There are people who will say, look, if you want to completely rid your risk of heart disease, perhaps you shouldn't eat meat at all. Just don't eat any red meat in particular. And there are other people who say, look, that's, that's going to be hard for me to do. But cutting back when you do eat it, making sure it's no bigger than the size of your palm. I love this thing that they do in Japan. And the phrase is called harahashi bu. What it basically means is that you push the plate away when you're about to eat your best call. The point is, you never stuff yourself. Here's a little tidbit when it comes to diet. It can improve your health. And it can increase your longevity. Helping you live to a hundred. The area off the coast of eastern Canada is known as Iceberg Alley. Why? Here you go. A massive iceberg right ahead. It's classified as large by the Canadian Ice Service. That means it's higher than 150 feet and longer than 400 feet. Iceberg Alley's iceberg season runs from spring through late summer. Ocean currents carry the birds south before the September retreat. CNN meteorologist says it's unusual to see one this big, this close to shore. And to think the season's just beginning. Who knows what ice will flow if you the season is slower. Those who are enthusiastic about this are probably hoping it's just the tip of the iceberg. I'm Carl Zeus, and that puts today's show on ice. It's time for us to go. We hope your weekend is see you guys. The puppy one was funny.